A major part of the political solution to the armed conflict in Iraq will be repairing the rift between the Shia-led government in Baghdad and the Kurds to the north. This week, the U.S. Secretary of State pressed the Kurds to support a unified Iraq, and the British Foreign Secretary has continued that effort. CCTV's Tony Chang reports from northern Iraq. The U.K.'s Foreign Secretary William Hague in Erbil, courting currently one of the most popular men in the Middle East. Yesterday, Kurdish yeah, President Masoud Barzani had played host to U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry two days before. And both men were hoping to persuade the Kurds to remain within Iraq and hold back any thoughts of an independent Kurdistan. Rejecting the vile ideology and crimes uh, of terrorists. And as in Baghdad yesterday, my message is the need to form an inclusive new government in Baghdad as soon as possible that can implement the most effective possible political and security uh, response. But it may well take more than a brief courtship to bring the Kurds back into the fold. Peshmerga fighters now control the oil-rich city of Kirkuk, a territory they'd long claimed as their historic right they now have under their control. And there's no indication they're going to give it back. I called for more troops to be brought into Kirkuk to provide protection for the city. And I would like to confirm that reserve troops will be ready to defend Kirkuk. I'm ready to be a Peshmerga soldier to defend Kirkuk. And the Kurds now have much greater control over distribution of their own oil, a process that had previously tied them to Baghdad. New refineries and pipelines are able to ship oil directly to Turkey and beyond, and that which isn't sent by a pipeline is shipped out direct by tankers. But it's stability which is currently the Kurds' best argument for securing independence. As Iraq goes into a violent and politically uncertain future, Kurdistan seems to be looking forward to a future which is prosperous and stable. And no amount of visits from charming Western diplomats is likely to change their minds. Independence has been the dream of the Kurds for centuries, and they're closer now than they've ever been before. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Erbil, Iraqi Kurdistan.